Hello everyone, in this video we are trying to learn about area calculation in earth engine. Area calculation in earth engine is indeed a very important topic to learn. Uh, after doing some classification, we might want to have the area calculations for each uh, class that we have uh, determined. Uh, and there are two different helpful sites. The first one is the uh, the earth engine guide, there is one page uh, to learn about area calculation. And the second one is from this blog uh, from Spatial Thoughts. This is very comprehensive and I have copied all the codes uh, from that blog and I'm trying to explain uh, them. So the area calculation can be for the vector data, uh, for the images with single class, and the area calculation for uh, can be for the images uh, with different classes uh, we want to have uh, the regions there and also for each year and we have the data set here this is uh, this is modest land cover type yearly global 500 meter this is very interesting data set because this land cover data set contains different land covers uh, within this single uh, data set so we have different land cover types and each land cover types has uh, has these different uh, uh, values. And we also have this uh, save file. This is the boundary file for the country Nepal. So here we have the filtered uh, data set. And we are selecting the very first from that uh, from that uh, image collection. And from that selected uh, image collection, we select the land cover type one. We have the different colors as the palettes, and we add the as layer with the minimum value as one and maximum value as 17, because there are 17 different values. And after running this, we get something like this. So you can see I have already uh, run these codes, and we also have something in the console. And this is a very colorful and bright view is the land cover. We have our uh, regions uh, being filtered as this uh, as these districts are selected. For this, we are using this ee dot filter dot in list. Uh, this helps to select different um, different districts here, and we are adding this as the layer in. This is our districts. And then we can clip the uh, clip the land cover for our area of interest. So this is done by dot clip dot clip here. Uh, make sure that we want to have the land cover for only of our area of interest. And then we can calculate the um, area for the features. For calculation of the area for features is not that difficult. We can simply uh, do this dot geometry continued by dot area, and this gives us the um, this gives us the some some constant here, and this is further uh, made as e dot number. Just making sure that this is the uh, number there and we divide with some constant so this constant converts the uh, derived value to the kilometer square and we round off so we exclude all those numbers um, after the decimal point so when we run this we get something like this here so this is the number here we are getting 16761 this is in a square kilometer and for calculation of the area for the single class, uh, here we are selecting this uh, value to build. And this value uh, relates to the cropland. And we can add this as the layer. So the maximum one here means that uh, there is that, um, that cropland. And here we can see this blue, uh, small blue patches are the cropland. And for calculating 
the area for this um, this uh, value we multiply by ee dot image dot pixel area and this is continued by reducing region we have our reducer we have our geometry and we have our scale and maximum pixels and from that uh, from that uh, calculated area we make sure that this is a number by e dot number and we get this uh, land cover type one because the value uh, or the area is in inside this one so we divide it by some constant converting it into square kilometer and we round off and we get something like this so as you can see um, this is the uh, these statistics are somewhat in Himalayan region or somewhat in Hillary area so the cropland or crop area is little less compared to uh, what we had the total area and for uh, area calculation f by each class now here we have this ee dot image dot pixel area and we are adding the bands by dot and bands and here we had this clipped uh, land cover that we did earlier and we reduce the region by dot reduce region and we have our reducer and here's something called this uh, group reducer. So the basic concept of this uh, group reducer is that the we group the uh, data set uh, by some specific value. So the the grouping is done by some uh, selection of uh, the specific um, specific variable. So this is the basic concept here. And here we have the group field, and we also have the group name. We have our geometry, scale, maximum pixels, and then we can print it. So what we can see here is we get something like, uh, uh, this is this is something called as dictionaries of dictionaries, because we have something inside something. So here we have the class, and we have the sum. So the uh, following course will try to uh, retrieve this, uh, this, this result in much more uh, understandable or much more uh, uh, much more in, in similar way simpler way so for that we get the groups as the list so we are getting the groups and then to that uh, to that list we map the function and we, this is the this is the parameter here and this is now prepared as the dictionary ee dot dictionary so we make sure that uh, we make sure that this is the dictionary now here, and from that dictionary we get the class. Uh, some formatting is done here, and then we also have this uh, this sum that we might want to get. So this is now done as ee dot number. Uh, we get the sum, dividing with some constant, uh, some rounding off, and then we have this class number and area, and then we return this as the ee dot list, as the uh, as these two different uh, variables are written and then uh, this resulted um, resulted list is further converted as the e dot dictionary uh, and then flattening it so this is uh, there is this this dot flatten and this is very nice uh, what it does is for example if we had this uh, this kind of list so this dot flatten uh, results this uh, this list into some simpler fashion so we had this at the very beginning and now it it uh, results in some simpler way in some some kind of horizontal way so this is the this is what the flatten uh, is doing and then we can result it and then we get the result as something like this so now we can see here we have this the key and then we have the values so this class is the key and the and some numbers are the values so that is what uh, we are doing in this uh, in this course so this was for the area calculation by class so after doing this uh, we can continue with area calculation for uh, by, by class by reason now it becomes more easier now and for calculating the uh, area 
by each class uh, by region, we have we have developed the function here, and this is uh, mapped to the uh, to the uh, to the region or our area of interest. So for that, we repeat the same process. We have our area, we add the bands, we use the region. We have this uh, group reducer. We have the geometry and scale and maximum pixels. And similar to the above, we get the groups. Uh, we make sure that this is in dictionary. We get the class, we get the sum, and uh, we, result, um, we, we flatten that result. And we also add the, add the geometry or our, uh, our feature or our area of interest in that uh, feature. And, and we, we map, that, uh, map that function to our area of interest or our reasons. And there is something this uh, this this selector. So this is being done uh, because not every uh, not every value will be present in that uh, in that uh, resulted output. So we do some here. Um, uh, we do something here such as selecting the uh, expected fills, something like that, and. We can continue this for the class by region by a year. And for that, we have the function here. So this function uh, takes the year. And we have this start and end dates, two different dates, for filtering the uh, data set. And each time this will select the land cover, uh, our land cover type one. And we all have. We will also have this uh, this function that will try to calculate the area each time. And then this is the same uh, the same function as above. And we will have this years as the sequence. And we're simply mapping this um, mapping this function to the sequence of the years. The two different things for the um, calculation by class by region per year. So we have this first function to filter the data set, and we have the we also have the second function to calculate the area. So this is the function within the function. So two different functions. And simply, we fold this process by making this as the feature collection. We flatten it, and similar to what we did above, uh, just the uh, just the sequence of the classes here. And this is something done as to as for the selectors to select the um, output fields. So this is the uh, general uh, steps. Uh, I'm sure there are other different ways to do it. So in to conclude this uh, video in some lines, what we did uh, is for calculating the um, area for features, that's not difficult. For images with a single class, we selected the value. And by sele after selecting the value, we reduced the reason. And after reducing the reason, we get a, a kind of uh, a complex uh, kind of result, and for that, we did some function to make that output uh, something in a very easy uh, way, something in key and result. And for uh, class by reason, we developed the function uh, function uh, to get the uh, get the area. And for by year. Um, we just sequence the uh, years and map the function. So just um, each step required some types of uh, little complexity in each step. But the, uh, but the basic idea, uh, what you can learn here is that uh, if, if we are able to make the function, uh, some specific functions, we can calculate the uh, areas. So that's the main thing. Um, so these are the uh, these are the some of the 
some of the things I tried to explain. Uh, but uh, please go through the blog. The blog, uh, you know, explains much more uh, concept, much more nicer concept. Uh, and the, um, the link is link for that orphan guide is in the description. So this is also very helpful. So I hope uh, this was helpful to you for some extent, I believe. So thank you for watching.